Tuner Talk. We're going to cover a topic today that we've been talking about for a little while. So about wheels, not not stance or fitment, right. just the wheels themselves or rams, as oh, they tend to be called. Uh, there, I read yeah. something recently. It's like rims are this and wheels are yeah, that. Yeah, it was a basketball. Was it a basketball? It's like viewed from above the basketball. <laughs> it's like this is a rim, this is a wheel. Gotcha. I was like, I couldn't agree more. So it's more than just how much you pay. Yeah, for sure. So, because yeah. you know, you, you, the, but reps or reproductions or like uh, people call fake wheels. They're right. not. They're not fake. Right. But that, they're reproductions of wheels that took time and design and and, and well, some okay, effort to making. I have a I have an interesting stance on this. Pun on, pun intended. Actually, pun intended. Up, uh, yeah. yeah. No, I have an interesting stance on this. Uh, I I think reps. Are really only when a company takes like a uh, a really well known one piece like forged wheel like RS Watanabe like old wheel or like um, a three piece like work wheel or something and then make a cheaply made like cast version of that. That's a rep for sure. But it there's only so many designs you could do in a wheel. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so where I'm going with that is like you know a company like. Cosmos, Cosmos tends to be like a uh, an issue that a polarizing wheel company. I like everything they do. So do I. Yeah. Everything they do. You're but them on vehicles. Yeah, same. And uh, and then, but people are like, "Oh, they're reps." I'm like, "No, they're not." Well, they're it, not. It's a, really. I think rep is a generalization. Well, I think rep is too unclear. I think if you can't pronounce the name of the wheel company, it's probably not a good wheel. Because you read a lot of these eBay wheels. Hmm. Catchatory wheels, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it's like this crazy. Just let's throw as many K's in. Uh, those Italian wheels. I, I know those. <laughs> yes, I've had those. The wheels. chicken catch. Yeah, yeah. Wheels. Chicken wheels. Uh, but you look at stuff like. All right, so I'm a big fan of of uh, of Vossen. Yeah, and let's talk about Vossen for a minute. Yeah, they started Florida out. Based. They started out Florida based. Yeah, um, they. They started out as a wheel, a wheel company like a lot of other wheel companies that were making similar styles to yeah. a lot of the JDM stuff. But now, over the years, they built such good quality wheels oh, yeah. for so long, and they're, you basically never see a Lexus or, or any of those kind of cars that don't have a Voss in them. It's true. They just love that style. They're becoming like the, like the U.S., uh, at least in South Florida, like the U.S., uh, VIP wheel. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, I have them in my car, and we bought their show car. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like... But now, work sends them wheels to build. Yeah, and you know, we toured their facility not too long ago, and you know they're sitting in there. They're they're doing all the billet work. They're doing it all. Um, there's, but they're very well known. Mm. You have companies like Anki who basically created the forming technology for the flow forming. Yeah. That a lot of people stole, and now casts. now they have to put Anki's name on their wheel. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like the the semi solid forged stuff. Um, they're talking about the lower. And stuff, not yeah. not the creep. But I mean, Enki's here in America. They're they're they build like people don't realize that Enki builds like every wheel. They do it like Toyota. Every wheel, aluminum wheel you see on a Toyota is an Enki wheel. They do a ton. They're a huge wheel company, and they for, have, for OEMs. Yeah, their yeah. facilities in Texas, you can't see the end of it. I mean, yeah. it's massive. But you get you know, Cosmos is a newer wheel company. Um, you hear a lot of companies that get um, dissed on the internet. Yeah, Cosmos is one of them. Uh, XXR is one of them. Yeah, which, which XXR is actually not XXR anymore. I think it's Prime owns XXR now um, hmm. for a few years. But, but I get why XSR's got XXR's got trashed because, like, you know, unfortunately, a lot of racers bought them when they were brand new and cheap, where they were like 120. They're good looking wheels. I, yeah, I, 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 but I those are yeah. shameless reps. No, oh, like yeah. they they, <laughs> they like yeah. clearly just ripped somebody off and just made the same wheel. It was like it, this, this is a copy of an Enki. We'll call it the NKI forty seven. Yeah, yeah, the Enki. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, but then, but but Cosmos didn't do that. They just like I feel like Cosmos fall, falls in this category of a quality wheel manufacturer who has used classic designs. Yeah, and not like, and that's not my sell. But, but the thing that's is, my pitch but on the them. thing is, they're they're not really very expensive. No, they're they're. Every wheel I've ever seen from them is well painted, well powder coated. I mean, yeah, there, there's that's no what I'm saying. Like they're well made. They're well made wheels, well -made wheels. Um, and, and that gets into the other side of the topic. If you talk to people, why don't you get a rep? Oh, they're going to break. Right. Okay. I'm going to throw myself into the bus right now and say I wouldn't 
put a set of rotas on my car if you gave me the rota factory, okay? Because if you look up wheels that broke, and 90% of the wheels that are out there are rotas. Yeah. And it's just, so, so what, you know, the way it's been described to me is a new wheel will come out from a reputable big name company. So we're talking about Mackin, which, which owns like Vulcan yeah, Work, all those companies, yeah, yeah. all those big high end wheels. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of Rays, wheels. Graham lights. Rays, yeah. Graham lights, amazing wheels, yeah, yeah, amazing yeah. quality. And they'll take, they'll buy one, they'll sand cast it, and they'll just start making wheels. Yeah. It's the exact, and they'll, and they'll just, Put some clay in there and change an angle or right, something right. just so it doesn't match. The um, there's a lot of time, effort, and money that goes into designing something. It's like stealing music and, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're in stealing a way, someone's yeah. design. Yeah. Um, car yeah. companies have been sued for cars that looked like other people's cars. So Yeah. But the thing is, I think one of the biggest advantages to buying a quality wheel, and I'm talking about a one-piece wheel. Let's stay on one-pieces for a second. Sure. Is if you have a minor... Goof up, you curb it, you hit a bump and you maybe your butt bend it or something like that. If you have a good quality wheel, you can fix it. Yeah, you can send it to a professional, you know, bent wheel place or something like that. At hundred bucks usually, yeah, they'll fix your wheel. They'll repowder your wheel. It'll match perfectly. Sometimes it looks better when right. you get it back. Yeah. If you have a cheap wheel, that's done. It's done. Yeah, I mean, it's it's they they can't even match their no. powder coat. It's made out of pot metal or like the yeah. cheapest grade aluminum. Whatever whatever is going to be the minimum safety requirement yeah. for a wheel. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then you get into the serious stuff: three piece, multi piece wheels, where the lips are different. Um, Centers and barrels are different. Centers and barrels are different. And you, know, you, get to, you get to the VIP, the VIP guys yeah. who spend obscene amounts of money. I might be a little bit guilty of that. Too. Yeah, I've done it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't walk past a, wet, a set of Wed's Kranzes and not just drool. I mean, how do you want to chase her? For, it's, it's, for me, it's work Equipo 5s. I will always You know, it's funny. Is, you talk to people and you ask, what's your favorite wheel? Uh, Blitz, I, I think they're Blitz 03s. They're like a, they're, a lot of them are two guys use them. They're like yeah. a, it's like a split five spoke. Okay, but you know everybody has that wheel. That, oh yeah, or, or uh, Leon Hardens. Leon, oh that's the VIP <laughs> wheel. Leon Hardens. Everyone uses it. Yeah. I saw it set on it. There's, there's a famous picture on the internet of Leon Hardens on an S15, and it just looks insane. Yeah, like it would, the car would handle for garbage. Yeah, but, but they just look amazing. They look amazing, and that's why I think the VIP, that, like the global, right. you, you know, VIP culture have embraced Leon Hardens. You see them on in Japan. You see them in the U.S. Like. You, but yeah, the nice thing about a three piece is, if you did damage it, you just replace the the, the broke part if it can't be fixed. If it can't be yeah, fixed, yeah. And, and it's always just polish it back up, oh. or, and it's it's a lot easier. To, and you're running really low profiles on a lot of those cars, so. But it's just so, um, over the top. I mean, you could spend yeah. thousands of dollars, or you could spend four hundred dollars on yeah. the set of wheels, and you're getting what you pay for. Yeah, yeah, you're getting what you pay for. Yeah. I mean, you get a nice set of expensive wheels, and you you're buying art. Well, it's the same thing as like. You know, buying a girl a diamond ring or buying her a cubic zirconia, you know? like She may never she, know the difference. She, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at the size of this. Woo, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. But but for some of us, I mean, obviously wheels are way more functional than a ring. But, you know, it's it's the same sort of thing. I think you have some people who want to appear to have nice wheels and some people who want to have nice wheels. Yeah, I mean, the, there's a lot of cars judging shows over the years that you could, say, pass the 10-foot test. Yeah, you yeah. You get a little yeah. closer, and it's like, you know, the, the Facebook angles don't do it justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a rep with an OEM center cap on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those aren't, those are bar stones. Yeah. Those yeah. aren't, yeah. But, and, and, but you see it. I mean, um, the downside is I think all the copycatting is one of the reasons that the, the quality companies charge so much. Yeah. I think because they're always fighting that. Yeah. They're always trying to set themselves apart. Um, but, you know, Depends on, and it also depends on what you're doing. If you're just driving your car to school every day or to work every day, and you just want a baller set of rims on your car, you don't need to spend all that money. But if you're going to do like See, what funny. we do sometimes, which the first thing I look at is, is this wheel going to stay together 150 miles an yeah, hour or yeah. more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, and so that's the thing. Like, so for for my drift car, I'll run Cosmoses. Like, I I love them. They're they're, yeah. they're great. Uh, even even or on even cool stock wheels. Stock yeah, wheels. or even yeah. But stock wheels, the thing about it is with stock manufactured wheels, like I always used to like 
Like the 350Z wheels just work on everything. They, you yeah. put them on S14s. You the put ones them on, with that little concrete. Sure, yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing about it is <clears throat> factory wheels are brutally strong. Yeah, they're usually... Like OE wheels. Incredibly You slap heavy. them with a hammer before you drive it, and yep. they're fine. And that's because they're designed to be, like everything else, worst case scenario. Well, and I think that's why for a lot of people's They're not worried dailies, about being light either. Uh, for a lot of people's dailies, they'll buy really nice OEM wheels from their manufacturer or another one if you're Volkswagen. And put them on their car because, like, like I mean, even my, my daily out there has, like, a BMW M318s on it just because I look great. And they're OEM wheels. You see, like, or you see a lot of folks with Corvette wheels on them, a lot of different Well, specifically, stuff. I was going to say Mercedes yeah. wheels, but, yeah, that's yeah. true, too. They, they do that wheels, and it's like... But, but the thing is, with the factory wheels is they're so, so tough. Yeah. But they're heavy. Yeah, usually. But now, like we've talked about in other topics, like car audio or stuff like that, now, manufacturers have some pretty nice wheels. Oh, yeah. Like, you look at the wheels that are on, like, Hellcat. Yeah. Or, or, or the Demon. Even the Camaro or, wheels. Like, or the Camaro yeah, wheels. Yeah, not, not really not I like the wheels more than I like the car. Yeah, they look yeah. really good. Yeah. Or, or, like, you know, even the Mustang wheels. You yeah. Know, they're, they're using, they're, they're taking a cool design, and they're just making them rugged. Yeah, I mean, I think, well, I think that... They thought for a while, they, like, you could get raised wheels from the factory, like the Nismo editions. Well, yeah, I was kind of going to go in that direction. I was going to say that I think that a lot of the younger marketing people that are involved in these companies now realize that, like, for them, their friends and, and their, maybe their dads have grown up with, you know, modifying cars and buying aftermarket wheels and stuff. And they're like, you know, I mean, if you think about it, even, and I hate to say this, but even in, like, the 90s Nissan era, OEM wheels were bland as AF. For a long time. There's some wheels that like are timeless. Like like MSX factory wheels are pretty horrible. But yeah. But but unless you get like a Zanardi edition or something. But yeah. but like if you look at that su- like the super though. wheels. Yeah. Like MK4 wheels yeah. were just timelessly good looking wheels. Five for a wheel wheels. with a center cap that big. Yeah. They're they look you put them on anything. But five strokes always work. They yeah. always work. The other the other thing is bring that topic up. Another thing when you're looking into getting a set of wheels is for me, at least, how much of a bitch are they going to be to clean? It's funny. It's funny you bring that up. I had a set of uh, OZ Super Turismos. It's a twenty-spoke wheel. <laughs> twenty spokes. Looks great in theory. Oh, I, I took the powder coating off and I mirror polished them. I, after the first wheel, I was like, I wish I never did this because they were taking. So I was doing them by hand. It took forever, and then keeping them clean was a nightmare. I sold them. Yeah, Almost polished wheels in general. Up. Polished wheels in general. It's twenty like, spokes, and you can't clear coat them because they heat up, and then the clear coat separates after a while, or it starts to pit from the brake dust. Right. So I mean, it, but it's like powder coating is the way to go. Yeah. But that's why, mm-hmm. like, I've always had a five spoke or yeah. some sort of version so of a split five because you can get your hand in there. And the secrets out. That's, like, that's why I like the Equipo fives. The secrets out. Yeah. Because it's so much easier. Yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's they're easy to clean. You, yeah. you can just you get away with it. And you're going to clean your car a lot, especially yeah. performance cars with brakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, uh, on mine, I, I actually uh, ceramic pro my wheels. When the guys the guys came in and did my whole car and they did everything. Um, uh, Props for Mobile Empire up in Sanford. Mm. They came in Shameless and they, they they literally said, "Please bring me your car as dirty and as ugly as you can." There's a YouTube video of them doing it, and they just buffed the car out, and the car looked. I, I guarantee that car didn't look that good in 1991 when it was brand new. Wow! But they did a beautiful job, and they ceramic coated all the paint, all the wheels, my glass, and four and a half years later, now you can just start to see certain. Spots on the car where the Surround Pro is kind of showing up, and you know you you could buff it down and re Surround Pro, but the sides are perfect, the top, and it's you literally can almost hose the car off, and it makes a huge difference in cleaning the wheels because the brake dust has a, an extra barrier other right. than the powder coating to resist. Yeah, um, but it's it, stuck on that. Yeah, I highly right. recommend it. It's not for everybody's car, but you know, get somebody who's really good at doing. It. I mean, they did a you got to color correct the whole car. Plan on spending a bunch of money to do it, but yeah, it, it's it's great, but still five spoke. Yeah, yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. 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 You look at a lot of cars, and, and now multi spoke wheels. There's a lot of wheels like oh, they're just you know. But I want to uh, let's bring up the the funny wheels, okay? So anything three spoke <laughs> hammers, AMG hammer wheels for the Euro guys, right? Yeah. Who are just still kind of a cool wheel. 
uh, for their era, like if, if the five spoke ones. Yeah, okay. okay yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. that were like, I, I still, you know, I, have, I still have this soft spot for like eight series Bimmers and, yeah. and like the 500 SEC Mercedes. Oh, yeah. Those, like those, those cars. Roadhouse cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love yeah. that car because yeah, that movie. It jumps yeah. right through the fence. And, oh, yeah. 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 But uh, so those cars, but, you know, uh, Fittipaldi tubulars that you could change the tubes. Remember those? They made no. these. They made these double five spoke wheels. I, I want to say it was Fittipaldi makes them. Like it was. It was some connection oh, with OZ. Emerson Fittipaldi. So. And they had these tubes, and you could take the the tubes off, and you could sand them and paint them different colors or powder coat different colors, and they would pop back on the wheels, and you could change the whole style of wheel. Hmm. It was it was rarely done well. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, they yeah. were like polished. You could get it polished, or you get a flat. And the flat ones you would get paint to match your car. So it's one of those situations where tubular. Uh, we, we've talked about yeah, we've talked about um, white wheels on white cars. Yeah. white wheels very rarely look good on a car. And if the car's already in an obnoxious color, white will work. But yeah, like, or white on white, monochromatic. But or black, um, white on black. Or course. my favorite wheel of all time, the teddy bear wheels. Oh, the Ronald teddy bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the the belly button of the bear was your key to take the center cap off. They were they were amazing. Um, Imagine if somebody made those in like twenties. Like if right now, I would like, honestly be tempted to buy at least I one know. and hang it on the wall. Um, but they're like they, sick VIP car. But they work in. like so it works in certain situations. Yeah. Like if you have like a, a, a like I call the bitch basket cars the 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 golf uh, oh. convertibles. Oh, oh, the Cabrios, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. Cabrios, yeah. Like that works on that car, or sort of the Daisy wheel, like a Beetle, yeah. Like you do. could put paint, you could because put the car is silly. It is. It's because it's, it's, the, it's yeah. like the new Beetle. If you had a, oh yeah, you know, the, they they would look okay if some girl was driving like a bright yellow, yeah, with Daisy wheels, and yeah, I might think it's fun or something. It themes yeah, it, yeah. it themes it. But I don't know. What about anything else you can think of that's just hideous? Hit, I mean, there's so like many. Tri spokes were. I hated tri spokes. So you remember early. Like early, um, uh, I would say Eki made some, and they were, they were terrible. Yeah, games. the Mustangs in the oh yeah seventy nine. Guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I think seventy nine through eighty four. Ford had these wheels called the TRX wheels, and they were only available on the GT Mustangs. They were a split three spoke wheel. Oh, that sounds hideous. And they had. The tires were like 225, 53, 90, and they were metric, and they had got, it was a wheel and tire package that came from Canada, Ford of Canada, and you couldn't find the tires for them, and God help you if you have them now. Um, and that's why everybody went to the, you know, the, the moon wheels, the little moons all the way around. Later on, the, the LXs had those yep. little hashes and yep. the scallops yep. all the way yep. Everybody got rid of their TRXs. And there, it was like the, tr- there was... It was cool, but if you go to Japan, you can buy um, wheels and tires that match. Like you could buy Yokohama wheels with Yokohama oh, true, tires. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's I true. think what they were trying to do. But they were Michelin's. They were Michelin tires because because Canada. Yeah. Um, and, but they had these crazy wheels. And you know, I've had wheels that have been from Japan on JDM cars that have been like. The wheel is a Yokohama, and so is the tire. Yeah, yeah. And they're always this crazy snow tread or something like that. But, but you know, a lot of the big wheel companies are Japanese. Yeah. Or German. Or or German. I mean, yeah. Well, OZ, right? Is OZ German or Italian? I think they're Italian, yeah. I think they're Italian, yeah. Um, or I had literally had somebody says, oh, man, those are those Oz wheels. Uh, I'm like, yes, the wizard. The uh, wizard made these wheels. The wizard yeah. of Oz. I've heard it too, but they, you know, they're what a lot of Lamborghinis have OZs. Well, a lot of so, those high end cars. So all the Fittipaldi, Fittipaldi wheels are all made by OZ. <coughs> so um, the 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 gimme ones are uh, the Lamborghini Diablo, that five spoke right. as an OZ wheel. That's a Lamborghini. Well, a lot of them were. A lot of them were um, OZ, weren't they? The Lotus Esprit Turbo with the five spoke yeah. that was an OZ. Feature. So so were a lot of Ferraris. Yep, like, like a lot of like three fifty fives and those cars back yep. then. Yep. Um. But, uh, but then you have you have companies now like oh like what another wheel that I, I, I like a lot is CCW. Yeah, okay. oh I love them. Which love unfortunately is not CCW anymore. So CCW is now owned by Weld Wheels. That's not necessarily um, a bad thing. No, I didn't say it was a bad thing, I just said it's not them anymore. Yeah. They're also Florida based. They're up in Daytona. Weld is. Uh well 
That was uh, CCW. Oh, okay. Um, but Weld bought them, I think, a year or so ago. Um, I've been there. I've watched them build. They do. It's amazing what they do. They do a lot of prototype wheels for cars on auto shows, like that one-off wheels. Here's mm -hmm. our design. Make this. Um, their customer service is bar none the best. We had a super that had a problem, and it wasn't even their fault. The, the customer who had the car had repowder coated the centers to match the car. That, uh, he bought the wheel secondhand, and instead of chemically removing the powder coat, they bake them off, which you can do. Um, it's not advisable for a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is you're taking aluminum and heating it again, yeah. and it anneals it. So they literally took the wheels, took it to a bandsaw right in front of me, and cut it in half, and said, look. And it was like I was looking at one of those, those Ming vases. You know, they look at the cross section. Yeah. And you could see on the edges of it, they were white. And in the middle, it was gray. And what happened is when the heat penetrated it, it weakened the aluminum. Yeah. And, you know, I launched the car and cracked one of the wheels. And it, and it stayed together. It cracked right up the center of the wheel. Like, it cracked between the spokes and everything, and it, was, it would just make noise. It would tick, 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 make, I thought I had popped an axle. And uh, I saw it, and I was like, no, no, no. I took them off. And uh, they were like, oh, yeah, we can fix these. And I'm like, okay, here. And I just left them sight unseen and left. They called me back, like, a week later. Like, okay. And I got there, and they're like, I didn't like the idea. And it was the, I think it was the owner of CCW at the time. It's like, I didn't like the idea of powder coating these. So I know what color your car is, so I just anodized them to match your car. And, and I was like, okay, what do I owe you? And he's like, 100 bucks. And he gave, like, was 100 bucks a wheel. And I got four brand new, with a better billet. They were machined from a billet, the centers. He took all my, my barrels, polished them all, all new hardware. But they were brand new. They were better than brand new. And 400 bucks. Wow. And, and that's, that's how you do things. Yeah. But, I mean, those companies, and then what's funny is, um, there's a company out there called Motegi Wheels. Yeah, I know them. They've been around forever. You can buy them on a lot of different sites. You know Motegi Wheels is actually owned by American Racing. No. So the story behind it said American Racing, which basically if you go into like Sears or J.C. Penney Auto yeah. Centers, those wheels are there. That, they're not horrible, but that's the, where you expect to see them. Um, they needed a more Japanese-sounding name so that Japanese car people would buy them. So they named it Motegi, which I don't even know what that means, but... I don't Maybe either. it means it used to be another name. <laughs> yeah, what if, it means yeah. American racing wheels in Japanese. But I mean, um, yeah, I'd like to hear what everybody has that their favorite wheel is. I yeah, mean, yeah. We'll throw something up at some point. But I actually would open it up the comments to like the whole what is a rep debate. Just because I want to see how many people are on my side of the argument and how many people are on the if you make a wheel that's not your design, it's a rep. Yeah, and we, and we don't want to hear from anyone who's just talking. Yeah, so, it's like, yeah, yeah. so don't don't diss some company, but you buy their stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, if if you if you're not buying the Volks, yeah. and, and bitching about the fact that other people don't buy the Volks, then you're just part of the problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, there's I've seen a lot of really nice cars out there. Speaking of Volks, actually, even though we're kind of wrapping up, the TE thirty sevens. The Me Too wheel of the world. Yeah, it, it's because they look good on everything. They do, do they, they really do? Out. And like I. I keep not wanting to buy them, and I keep, uh, you know, like, eyeballing them. Like, man. And, and they make those, uh, what I For like, a one-piece wheel. It's a one-piece wheel. It's a one-piece wheel. It's probably the most reproduced, copied one-piece wheel oh, on Earth. absolutely. Everybody, including Motegi. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, they, sure. They call it the MR1, I think. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Um, but those wheels are timeless. And they make those, like, special editions. I love that. Every so often. Well. Oh, I love this them. This one's going to be the same wheel in black, but it's got a green sticker. Oh, it has. Yeah, a red yeah, sticker, yeah, a blue yeah. sticker. And it's one just white track, sticker. Yeah. The track, whatever. Yeah. Um, another thing I've noticed lately, I'm a huge, I like Enkies a lot. Um, the only thing I wish they would do is make more of a performance wheel in a bigger size. I wish they kind of stop. more three-piece wheels. Well, they stop. They really don't make anything performance. I think 17's as big as they go. Yeah, they don't make like an eighteen like race ready wheel. I'm, if I'm wrong, I apologize in advance. I think they make an RPF one. Because we were, we're we're working on this long term project car that because of the brakes it needs nineteens. Um, oh, oh, nineteen. And, and, you're gonna be analog on. Yeah, and a lot of wheel companies were like, no. Yeah. But Voss is actually building us a set. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, a custom. Because they'll set. go up to like twenty four or something. Yeah, they're like building it. us a custom set, so That's it's going to awesome. be pretty dope. But um, you look at these wheels, and it's just like. Do you want to buy something and spend all the money on something that people can really jack off your car and steal? 
Um, there was there was actually uh, I, I met a guy at SEMA a year ago, and he I, I, don't, I don't know if if he watches this or whatever. I lost all your contact information, so. Uh, but he had this thing for wheels, and you you basically had an adhesive, uh-huh. and it mounts inside your rims, and it's got a wa- like a little watch battery in it, and it, you have to it has to be like a, a tracker. Or something. It was a tracking device uh-huh. for your rims. Um, and you, if your wheels got stolen, you just basically punch it in on your phone, had an app. Oh, that's here's a my great wheels. Idea. You know, here's my wheels. Go get them. Um, and they had that tech for cars, like a lot of transponder that's a technology. Great idea. Um, if you live in a, you know, like LA or somewhere where yeah. Oh, wheels and when he was like, oh, you know, they you can track your kids with these devices. You put it in their in their wallet, or you can track your anything. It's a really small little thing. Um, but I, I know there was some instances with the. The, the distance you had to be because like mm. low jacks hasn't worked never worked yeah it was such a hard track system. Never really there's a couple of systems out there really worked. there's a lot of good systems out there that now you can track your cars but your wheels like Anki has has these wheels out now that have two uh, two valve stems so you can literally have an air gauge attached to one while you're filling the tire oh nice and nice. you can look at your tire pressure and be perfect every time um, but a lot of these cars like you said all the factory stuff but a lot of cars run them for racing, and a lot of people run those wheels because they're rugged and they take a beating. And you can finish Yeah. And if and if you fix them, they're you can fix them. They, their lifespan's massive. I've always wanted to get into Enki wheels. Like, there's been a number of them that I've found that I've liked. But like, I always ran into an issue where like they didn't make the size wheel I wanted in my in my bolt pattern yeah. or so whatever. So that goes back. That's that's a good point you brought up. And I hate running adapters. I can hate it. The, some of these smaller companies, um, and I'm going to set them apart right now, like Cosmos. Yes. If you say, hey, I need this wheel. If if your car is you know, a show car or something like that, they'll go out of their way to make that yeah. wheel for you. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to get it tomorrow. No, but, it'll, but you'll get it. But a lot of these big companies you spend $1,000 a wheel for, they won't make them for you. Like, but you got companies like Cosmos, which is a lot less expensive. If you get a hold of like uh, Diego over at Voss and like, all those guys, and talk to them and be like, "This is what I want. Tell me what it's going to cost. I'll pay for it, but I want these wheels and I want them one off." They'll do it. Yeah. And their and their powder coating quality. They have this machine that rotates the wheels while they're in the powder coating, so they're evenly coated. It's and it's motorized. Nice. The wheels are literally turning on their heating. Their their facilities. Is pimp. I wow. mean, it's floor to ceiling billet. Um, the other thing about what they've done to reduce wheel theft is they serialize all their wheels. So every set of wheels they make actually has a serial number on it, and it'll say serial number blah blah blah, number one of four. Mm. And so with us, they were actually engraving the company name in the lip and a serial number for each individual wheel. Nice. So good luck. And the thing is. My first question was, why do they just fill it or grind it off? And they're like, oh well, if you try to grind it, you break the wheel. If you if you if you dig deep enough to to get it's that, just it just worthless. Destroys the rim. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the whole thing. But I, I think, yeah, let's talk a little bit about reps and figure out what you know what everybody else thinks reps are. I, I mean, well, it's by rep, it's reproduction by definition. Yeah, 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 or replica. Replica, I think, is is the commonly accepted. Yeah, I think they say like a rip off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know what? Not everybody can afford four grand in wheels and then tires. Well, and yeah. I mean, not for all. Like, if you have a car problem like us, we have too many cars. <laughs> nice of you to call it a problem. It, it, well, you know, I'm, it's an addiction. Or, it's an addiction. I'm just gonna. It's, I feel, it feels nicer to just call it a problem. Um, but if you have that, you know, like on my daily, I'm probably not gonna run four thousand dollars out of wheels, five thousand dollars out of wheels. But on like a show car or like a long term project, I'm gonna throw a lot of money at those wheels because they're not gonna be they're not gonna see much of use, they're not gonna get cleaned all that much, they're not gonna get dirty all that not much. Not everybody has big budgets and there's That's some true. Company, but look online and see what kind of reputation the company with the rep has. Yeah, but not at people like talk to comments. a few. Yeah, yeah, but comments because are, people will just say whatever. The, you know, like we say a lot. There's a lot of information on the internet, but not all of it is good information. Mm-hmm. Most of it is not yeah. good information. Because no one has has any responsibility to be accurate. No, no, no. So, I mean, if somebody is like, you know, gets pissed off that they didn't want to replace a wheel or whatever, I mean, you go to SEMA, like we do every year, and it's like 
Ford Giotto has a. I, I don't find their wheels attractive. It's it's kind of the They're too flashy for me. It's but, the blingy, yeah, dubby kind of sort of like. It's not my style. It's yeah. it's nothing against it. They make a great wheel, but it's like you, know, you look at it. But you, know, you look at wheels like Luxani and those and those companies, and well, I think amazing. You're getting to something that you were getting to before, which is that wheels are really an example of functional art. Like they only have to keep a tire on them, but how they look doing it is what makes all the difference. In the and the other thing is, you know. I've seen throwing good money after bad. I spent a lot of money on wheels, and I threw some Bob's tire on there. Yeah, that'd be a, and why, that'd why be a... Why my wheels make horrible noises when they go down the road? They yeah. hum and buzz. And so, I mean, you're going to spend a lot of money. I mean, you could spend $1,500 without really trying too hard on a wheel, a wheel. and a tire. Yeah. So, when you're talking about $6,000 of, you know, rolling resistance... On your car, it should look good. I, I saw. I, it should look like. <laughs> I saw a set of. Uh, uh, there's a shop here in Orlando called Cami Speed, that oh, yeah. is awesome. And I went in there and I was. I, I go in there just to see the new stuff every once in a while, and uh, the guys are cool. <laughs> they had lug nuts made by Rays. Yeah, and they have like a lock. It has a special key. Each key is specifically for that set of lock and lug nuts. The the, the actual insert. It's like a, right, and then on top of it, the key. Has a cap that goes over it. It screws on with a special Allen key, and they were like, I want to say they were like five hundred dollars for a set of the like lugs. twenty lug nuts. Yeah, and it, they, they looked amazing, but who really looks that close at your lug nuts? I, I get it. If you're going to go the whole distance and money's no object in a build, they need well. But if money's no object, then you can afford to have them stolen. Just, yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, I, I, I like you know. The thing is, they're going to build those things, and the people are going to leave all the stuff right at the car. Yeah. Because what happens if you get a flat? You need that. You stuff. need that with you. Yeah, carry it in your wallet. You know, locking glove boxes. Yeah. Locking so I mean, boxes. good stuff as always is expensive. Um, if you can get decent deals, we've, we've got a set of Cosmos on a car that we just abuse the crap out of perpetually and they're fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and actually it's, it's funny you say that because with wheels, it definitely is still a thing where you get what you pay for. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, you're never going to get a good wheel, objectively good yeah. wheel. If you do spend a lot of money, ninety percent of the time you're getting a good wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not. Yeah, it's not one of those things where you're going to get ripped off spending yeah, four grand on wheels. Right, like, probably, right. And, right. And, but and, and, and in closing, my thoughts always been like this: when it comes to wheels, I, I give people advice on builds all the time. Yeah. Do this, do that, do this, do that. I never give people advice on wheels, and the reason why is wheels are the one part of your car that's fashion. Yeah. It's fashion. Yeah. It's like, you know. You might not like Pumas. Yeah. You might not like this brand shoe. You might, everybody has like a favorite sneaker. Yeah. Okay. Pumas. You know, or anything but Nike. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, at this point. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's fashion. Yeah. Like white wheels. Somebody might like white wheels. Somebody might like pink wheels. My friend has highlighter yellow wheels on his S chassis. Yeah. Like, I think it, if you're trying to make an, a, a statement, it, it works. Yeah. But... For me, I like I have blue wheels on my car. You do, so it's like it. Sometimes subtle is okay if that's what you're shooting for, but wheels are the one thing that's aesthetic. It's like telling people how to dress. That's true. You're dressing your car with those wheels. With those wheels. So when I was young in the car scene, I had a friend Doug who, who he has, in my opinion, were very much aligned on most things aesthetic about cars. But wheels, we were completely the opposite about. He despised black wheels, and I was like, I love. Them. I still love them I think now. black wheels get lost. Yeah, I don't despise I like them. subtlety. Well, if the car isn't black. Car's black. Yeah, it, it just loses. Yeah. It's just like... Pfft. I have three cars that are black with black wheels right The thing now. is, you take, you, take, you take any car and a wheel change... Yeah. Changes like, the entire what's funny look is, of a car. With my NSX, people think my car is a lot newer than it is because it's got modern rims on wheels it. Wheels on it, yeah. If yeah. I had old 90s wheels on it, they'd be like, oh, no, that's... No, it's totally true. Yeah. And the opposite, I mean, that happens to a greater sound. Like if you put any car, really, like, yeah, really modern wheels on like a car from the 80s or the 70s, all of a sudden they're like, oh, is that from the 90s? No, I, I no, saw, I saw a... 20 years old. Go out and buy, I'm going to try to think of something. Go out and buy a 1991 LS400. Yeah. Okay? And grow out there and buy, buy a set of VHS Vossens and slapped some 20s on that car, yeah. and that car is instantly 
It's it's shaved newer. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a facelift. It's like a. It's literally it's yeah. a facelift yeah. of a car. Your car's had since some work done. Yeah, it's a cougar now. This <laughs> it's a cougar. All right, guys. So figure out what you like best, and if you got any opinions on it, put them in the comments. Thanks. Talk to you guys next week. Mm-hmm.